Uh, one thing I want to know today when you're doing Zid, you're doing Avrod. I mean, the kind of roles that you're playing now and your journey there. It's been quite almost a decade and more. Uh, how have you seen your craft uh, enhance? I don't have an answer. I hope I have become better. I hope I am more dependable. Uh, the great thing of artistry or acting is to become somebody other than you. So they asked me, why are you not taking dance lessons? I said, Ek to mujhe dance kuch sikhai nahi sakta. Because I don't know how to dance, this industry didn't make me a hero. They thought that I'm not fit to be a hero. And of course, later they realized I have not come here to become a hero. But as an artist, I just want to be a student of life. I want to be a student of craft. And I want to tell people. I want to tell you. I want to tell everyone. It is okay to be lost. OTT certainly now has given a level playing field to all the actors, I believe. Hasn't it? Somewhere? I think it's given equality. If everyone is bad in the industry, then we can make a good film. Anything that you're looking forward to playing in your life, you wish you get that role? An aspiring one? No, I don't wish to get a role. I wish that the role I get, I become. weight has been quite fruitful let's begin asking how was your lockdown and post lockdown like was it a recreation trip out there what took you out for a bike ride uh i can just say i was lucky to be stuck in the mountains oh really i was lucky to be at home and uh, i'm sure lockdown was not uh recreation Re recreational for us though we did kind of make it recreational because <laughs> the whole world was locked for two months um, but I think I was fortunate that I was in my mountains and with my people and uh, so I really really cannot uh, complain. Amit your journey has been unique like we have heard so much so many things you've spelled out and good that very few people can share their life journey in such a beautiful way and uh, it has been a ride in itself uh, but have I, if I just look at it uh, from a larger picture, it's been sta it started with television, it went through a larger screen and now we are back. The entire world is back to call OTT is the new big screen. You got your big share of success with Kai Poche or, or before that also if I can say that. And then again now I think the success story is rewritten. That's but very sweet of you. That's very sweet of you. First of all, uh, when you talk about these things, I kind of uh, cannot believe that you're talking about me sometimes it is very difficult to fathom that all these beautiful things uh, all these beautiful parts and so much love uh, is uh, coming my way I'm saying this in a positive way uh, I'm very grateful very thankful it keeps me going but in all hearts if you ask me I've never understood that when I'm high or when I'm down or uh, I'm just lost in my own pursuit here, Ranku. I'm, I'm always lost in uh, surviving or in my own, you know, just finding life through my work, through my uh, travel, through acting, through connect. I think this, this connect that uh, human beings are gifted with, we can connect, you know. It's like, it's the most amazing thing about uh, being alive. And I'm kind of always lost in it. It's like a dreamy world which keeps me away. So to be honest, I don't know. Like people keep saying, oh, you've come back. You know, yes. so, uh, or, uh, but again, I understand people say it out of love and uh, there's a certain structure the world functions, you know, uh, with uh, success and uh, uh, failings. And I embrace both. Uh, a little bit of both has got me where I am today and I'm pretty happy and I'm sure it's just going to go just like also this. Also because you have to keep surviving when you say people say come back it's because uh, you have to consistently be seen. It's like the moment you're not seen out of sight, out of mind kind of a uh, mm -hmm. thought process. Yeah, I don't believe that. Sorry I interrupted you but Anku I don't no, believe in that. In fact I feel this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in fact, I feel you should go out of sight. An artist should vanish. An artist should go and live 
life uh, in in whichever kind of uh, formation or topography or wherever he wants to be. An artist has to go. You know, there's a very big acting coach. His name is Robert Ellman. Many, many years back, he said an amazing thing. He said, you know what? In life, you experience uh, and you gather X amount of moments. And then what we do is we utilize those moments in work, in relationships, in uh, forming uh, connections, and primarily coming back to art. He said, but a lot of artists, they get greedy in reusing those moments because their intentions change, their passion changes, and they kind of fall in a rut. So he kind of told me, like, be aware. He said, you are very special, Amit. You have a certain amount of emotions and uh, moments which you will utilize in your movies and different characters that you play. But please identify when you think your moments are finishing, leave acting. Yes, leave. Leave your city. Go. Live life. That requires not to be insecure. insecure. That requires not yes. to be insecure. So. And a different attachment, I think. I think the meaning we put to our work, the way we attach ourselves to our work uh, is what distinguishes us from others and puts the correct meaning of what we want to do. So I'm able to do that. You have no idea. After Kaipoche, I was traveling. I uh, I was I was in London. I went to Oxford University, and I met this crazy intelligent uh, person. And I fell in love with her, and I started dating her. And people from India were calling me and saying, "Are why are you not signing movies?" So I said, "Well, I've not got the story that I want to make yet." You know. So I've been pretty kind of uh, thick-skinned. Sometimes being thick-skinned. Being thick-skinned has helped me. Sometimes I have uh, been on the wrong side of that. <laughs> but that's life, life I guess. But then it was a choice. You wanted to give yourself the experience of life to be a good actor every time. It, it is something that you chose to be in that. Experience. Yeah, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a strange term. I don't know what a good actor means here, to be honest. I don't know. Sure. But I want to live life. I want to be able to... Uh, I, w I would I would want to be able to come work, create, and mm -hmm. uh, and set out again. Like you know, it's like sail, sail, go offshore, come back. You know, bring something nice uh, for the audience, for myself. Then again, disengage. Yeah, I just like that process of going and coming back, going and coming back. I think yeah. that's what makes your role uh, beautiful and that's what my answer was looking for that how do you manage to perform uh, brilliantly because all your scripts I that was one of the things we want to get to is have you uh, chosen your scripts well or now I get to know your process is pretty much defined that helps you perform well because every role that you've played small screen time large screen time it just worked for the film for you so is it the choice or is it because you've been putting in your experience out there Anku, you are too kind. So I think I'm also very blessed. People are very kinder to me. People are very, very uh, affectionate towards me. I think that has helped. That has been a big reason for me to survive uh, so many storms and such long. <laughs> um, I think one comp one compliment that goes for me is something that I'm very proud of. That my choices my movie choices are uh, all very pure. They come from a very, very, they come from good intention. You know what I mean? They don't come from kind of any uh, external uh, aspects of greed, yeah. you know, or any classification. They just come from a very pure thought that I want to become this man Till now, I mean, I've never become a woman yet, but uh, I want to become this part. I want to become this human being. I want to play this character and be honest. Uh, you know this, everybody knows this. Time doesn't affect me. I don't care if my role is two minutes or 10 minutes or 100 minutes. And I'm so happy. I've been watching your interviews, the kind of questions you're asking people, the kind of actors you've got to interview. And you've put me in the same list. So I'm very grateful again. Uh, I just like the, through your interviews, uh, you are teaching or sharing a new language of art, of how 
to think and how to, and I'm sure that is adding to the experience and thought process of uh, the viewer. You know, they're learning new abbreviation, they're learning new addresses than just, oh, I went to a party many years back and I was quiet, standing in the corner as always. And a couple of people came and said, you're an actor, right? I said, yeah. Why are you not drinking? I said, what does acting got to do with me not drinking? Why are you not dancing? I said, why are you asking me to dance? He said, but you're an actor, you should dance. I said, where did this come from? So I was actually very offended. I said, Al Pacino is standing here. Or Daniel Day Lewis is standing here. Or Jack Nicholson is standing here. You say it. I said, what is it? I won't dance in an actor. I don't think it's good to dance. It's stereotype. You know? No, I don't like to see. I love to watch dancing. I don't like dancing. I don't like it. I don't want to. If I, and if I want to dance, I'll dance on my own. Or with, I'll, do, I'll go to a ballroom, dance with my woman. But I don't want to enter a party and dance. But the thing is, the viewer, the audience was expecting that. Are, but today, the good thing is that we are changing. Today, they don't expect that. In fact, you won't believe, I won't tell you something today. When I was starting my um, career, and everybody was taking dance lessons. Okay. And uh, I was not. So they asked me, why are you not taking dance lessons? I said, I can't teach dance. Okay, right? And the uh, other one, if we learn all the dance, then who will do the rest of the role? Oh, that's okay. so, but at that time, there was no other role. So if you didn't oh, dance, you, are, you know, if you don't dance, you were not a hero. At least not you know, in Indian I'm, cinema, right? True. You know, and I'm so lucky that I didn't dance and I didn't become a hero. I'm so yeah, happy you're I mean, not the hero. You're an artist. You've been saying that continuously, you know, which is what know. we want yeah. people to so do. So I, I, you know, I lucked out. I lucked out that I don't know how to dance. And because I don't know how to dance, this industry didn't make me a hero. They thought that I'm not fit to be a hero. And of course, later they realized I have not come here to become a hero. But as an artist, I just want to be a student of life. I want to be a student of craft. I, and this is how I think. It is silly sometimes. It is nice sometimes, but it is okay. We don't have to be sure and perfect and you know as if we've cracked life no trust me i'm as lost as i was yesterday and i'm okay with it and i want to tell people i want to tell you i want to tell everyone it is okay to be lost you know we don't need to find answers of life we don't need to be perfect we don't need to be sure of everything the beauty the magic of life is being lost you know but amit did you want to be an actor I mean, you didn't want to be a dancer for sure or because you've come from, I know your little bit of your studies, you've been in uh, La Martina background because that's considered a brand out here. And then you've moved on to finding yourself, struggled out. So was that in your head clocking all the time? I will be an actor, will do theater. There's no systematic approach to it to say? No, it just... no, it just happened. And uh, if you ask me when I was doing television, I was so bad. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and I was just an idiot. I was just this big bull of energy. Uh, but I kept seeing, looking things around, people around, movies, few actors in India, few actors in the West. And I kept thinking, okay, I want to be like that. Okay, I don't want to be like that. Okay, I want to sound like that. Actually, if you ask me, I'm just, a, uh, I've pickpocketed so many different things from different people how to sound, how to speak, what to speak, how to think. And I started grasping, absorbing, and then slowly it started making sense to me, okay, who I am, what I want to do, what kind of an actor do I want, uh, how do I want to think and live. So um, it's not happened overnight, you know, it's, uh, but uh, uh, it's, it's, it's had its own kind of, I think, process of, uh, I don't like that word so much, but you know, I mean, I would like that. When did you feel moment. like you were an actor? Was there a moment in your, maybe any of your movies where you felt like I have now got to what you could be satisfied with? I'm sure because Kai Pochi was beautiful. I mean, I can watch that movie like zillion times. It's so amazing. So uh, thank you. Yes. I think we are, I think, I think I'm very blessed to be part of such a beautiful film and to start to come like to be in business, like to be in movies again, you know what I mean? And uh, I had really, really worked very hard uh, till that point. And uh, life was not so good. People were not so good. 
experiences at that time were not so good. But I kept composed. I kept my vision board very clear that I want to be an actor. And I think I put it was a reward. It was like a gift. You know, I always feel that the universe and your God always gifts you. You know, if you're good, he gifts you. So that was a gift for me. It was a great start. I think I put it was the turning point in two ways. A, it also, it, uh, this is what I wanted to do. My not being seen from television till here was those five years or six years, they actually went into becoming what I became in Kakoche. So it did not happen by fluke. It happened by design. I waited for that. You know, I groomed myself for a role like I pushed it to come in for me to deliver. Uh, though I push it doing well, I'm a very small part of that reason. There's so many other aspects that made Kai Poche, Kai Poche. And then of course, then it gives, then it gives you a, it gave me a new threshold. It gave me a new life. It gave me a new direction and then things happen. And then, you know, life happened. Then I got lost again. Agencies come hero, heroine, my next film, your announcement. People started saying you don't have announcement. People started saying you don't have PR. People started saying you have bad hair again. There were people, I don't want to name this, to call me and ridicule me. I don't want to name this, to call me and ridicule me. I don't want to name this, to call me and ridicule me. I don't want to name this, to call me and ridicule me. I don't want to name this, to call me now I wear t-shirts and say, wow. <laughs> People say, wow. <laughs> oh, one thing I want to know today when you're doing Zid, you're doing Avrod. I mean, the kind of roles that you're playing now and your journey there. It's been quite almost a decade and more. Uh, how have you seen your craft uh, enhance? Because see, all your struggle and all your getting lost, coming back has added value. So do you see your performance in Zid coming out or Avrod has something much more uh, there to it, which which we might see in the physical form. Yes, you've spoken about it. You have worked on yourself in the different bodies that you play the character. But how do you define your performance today vis-a-vis -vis your journey so far? Sorry, it's complicated. Yeah. No, 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 it's not. It's not. I'm <laughs> just thinking, how can I on answer this with uh, complete honesty? I, you know, I, I thought I have the answer for every question. For this question, I don't because I don't know. So I think you should ask this question to yourself or people who will watch me. I don't have an answer. I hope I have become better. I hope I am more dependable. I hope I bring uh, and add something to cinema and to the movies and to the movie, movie watching experience for the audience. I hope. I don't know. I don't have an answer for this. <laughs> Let me take some callers question because I think you've so many followers, Amit. I think our phone have been phones have been buzzing since yesterday. And after a point, I was like, can I just stop it? Why where did I tag everyone sent questions? I'll read some questions for you before I get a caller. Uh, I, I can't take the name, it's called Cupcake. Your source of motivation. How what is your source of self-motivation? Is what one of your followers wants to I I think to live life or to do something, you need to, uh, you need a source to motivate. Then the biggest source of energy that God has given you, you, you are not utilizing it. So my source of motivation is me. And where I get this energy is from God, from universe. And nobody needs, we don't need any other source of motivation. That is so true. We also have a, uh... It's very difficult to name it. Ojala Preet uh, asking, Does, do you forgive people for their unconscious behavior, but later on when they realize their mistake? Are you forgiving a person is what I understand. Hey, Ojala, uh, interesting question. Uh, I'd like to believe that I'm a forgiving person. Uh, I'm also very reactive in the sense I don't hide things. So if you upset me, I will tell you I'm upset. Over the years, I've realized to be more, uh, I give more benefit of doubt. And if somebody genuinely seeks forgiveness, I forgive them instantaneously. And, uh, but do I keep them uh, with me? Uh, will I allow their energy to be entangled with me? Is something, it goes person to person. Because you are to keep energies around you, which blossom you, which make you happy. There are a lot of friends sometimes in life and a lot of people who claim that they love you so much, but when they, their energy, their words, uh, they, they, 
to make you feel down. And anything that makes you feel down, you don't have to hate, you do not have to grudge, but you need to keep them away. Uh, that is uh, something I've learned very late in life and it is uh, helping me and has helped me. So that's what you must be doing with some of the people in the industry, I believe. Uh, we Many also people. have <laughs> <laughs> not, not in the industry, love. It's no, not. not really. same people. It's just okay. life. It's life. Uh, industry mm -hmm. is also a bag of life. It sure. has great people. If it didn't have good people, Anku, how would I no. reach here? Totally. Agar, how agar would we reach you? Hai. No, but if everyone is bad in the industry, then we can't make a good film. I know. And we can't put them all in this. We can't. We have Kiran here, Mitch. She's been waiting since like one hour. She's in Melbourne. She was driving around. So Kiran, can you see us? She's on video with us. Hi, Amit. How are you? Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Kiran. How are you? I was, I've uh, been to Gurdwara and I've just prayed that, you know, Zid is a major success. Love to hear stories. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So my question to Amit is, you know, I see your dedication every day on Insta stories. You work very hard. Uh, you're very good in your acting. So if not an actor, what would be your other profession? I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But you know, this is a tricky question. Uh, after so many years of hard work, I'm getting to act. So let's just talk only about acting. <laughs> let's not let's not die, let's not go away from acting. <laughs> okay, can I ask you a second question too? Then in that case, go ahead. Please do. And what's your favorite cuisine? Like, what do you like to eat the most? I've heard like you know Indian dishes. You prefer Indian food, but what in Indian food you like the most? Uh, I love mutton biryani and rajma chawal. I've made mutton biryani at home. Seriously, oh. I've made mutton at home. <laughs> you need to come to Melbourne. <laughs> I promise you I will one day. Done. Done for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, my lovely family. That's my son. Hi. My daughter. Hey, my husband. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Hi. Sachin. How are you? How are you? Bye. How are you? How are you? Oh, you love you, love you all, love you all. Big big fan, big fan. Big fan. Hi, Thank, you. Thank you. Hey, Chad. We, we all watch Breathe in the Shadows together, and Kabir is his favorite for all yeah, of thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Kiran. Thank you for thank you, thank you for your love. Thank you for connecting and waiting so much. No problem. All good. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And you have one more question, Amit. This is uh, from Yashi Chandra. She wants to know any <laughs> special memory of your childhood or lesson that you've learned from, learned from your father that you would carry with you. So I want you to know, I'll tell you, uh, Yashi, you can ask these questions to me directly. Uh, I met her as a fan. Okay. Like I meet most people, I follow her. I think she's more than a fan now. She's my confidant and friend and you know you i share such amazing relationship with my fans it's just like you know how life transcends and you you grow i think my relationship with them is growing but anyway i want you to know i'll tell today i shouldn't be but she asked me an amazing thing a few days back. she said i want you to win a national award for me one day so i want to tell you right now in front of you i will win a national award one day for yashi yeah. and make the country proud of it that's really good for all of us yep. and shailesh that's one Caller, I'll take uh, last year for you, Amit. Shailesh, you can Please come now. in front. Thank you so much. So, Amit, uh, I have been critic for so many actors, but for you, I want to ask one question. That you have a rare personality in Indian cinema who is so much appealing and your aura is so much that I am interested to see you in Hollywood. So what do you think about Hollywood? Do you have some plan? Do you think about it? Or is it something already on your cards? So we do not know anything as of now. So what are your thoughts about it? Salish, first of all, thank you for your love and kind words. I am a guy who never tells my plans to people. Uh, I don't tell everything. I, you can see how I just... <laughs> Like even fight with my studios, like don't tell the Abhi post it, Madam. So I like holding things. But I'm gonna honestly answer you this question because this is a very, very interesting question. I don't want to go to Hollywood or Bollywood because I don't know what Bollywood and Hollywood is. I know one thing, and I want to tell you that today. 
I love being an actor in the Indian film industry. And the connect I have with the, I don't know how many, but a lot of Indian people in India and abroad. I'm very grateful for the love, the connect and the life that I have. Now in life, we always have to increase our mission. You know, our mission has to grow. Coming back to what you said, and I know what you meant, I would like to now make Indian stories about Indians in a good manner, representing us in the right way. Not the way Bollywood shows us, not the way Hollywood shows us, in the right way. How Masan showed us, you know, how Lunchbox showed us, how Irfan Sir's namesake showed us. I want to be a part or make or act or executive produce Indian stories where we can start showing instantaneously 2.5 billion people all over the world, 1.4 up and 1.2 pure dunya mein. So 2.4 billion, I want to showcase them real Indian stories so that they can think and be proud and say, this is India. These stories are ours, you know, and then pass that for Hollywood or whatever you said, for the world to watch our stories. In that segment, yes, I would like to kind of be the bridge and I would be happy if the world watches our movies uh, and our stories. Thank you so much. That was very interesting take rather. And India really needs to be represented that way. And my last question is, do you have any inspiring politician, be it a male or a female, whom uh, you feel very connected or inspired from? Uh, there are people uh, I'm very, very, I look up to uh, Smriti Irani a lot. You know, I think she's a very strong force a strong representation of, uh, you know, uh, as, as a politician, as a woman, as a person, as an actor, as a mother. She has done so many roles. Uh, she has, like, she does so many, uh, uh, she has so many kind of roles in life. Um, and what she does quietly, you know, without just making noise. Uh, the work she is doing in agriculture, the work she is doing in education. Um, because I know her, so I'm fortunate to kind of be privy to all these things. Um, so again, uh, not kind of going into uh, any specifics. India is doing a lot of great work. I'm more interested in what I'm going to do and what I can do. Because what matters is what you can do and what you can contribute, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for such great questions. You have given me two more questions. Very quick one, Amit. One, okay. <laughs> Any role that you regret? Uh, you don't. You might not uh, name the movie or something, but is there a, a space that you regret any of your work done in haste? No, not, no regret because everything I did, I did, and it's done. It's a part of me. Okay. It's it's okay. a part of me. No regret. There's no regret in life. I I don't have regrets. I think it's again a over. You know how they sold us fear. They sold us. There's nothing called regret in life. You know, okay. you don't regret. You know, you, and it's life. You keep walking, you keep walking, you keep moving, you keep learning. That's it. It's, there's no aftermath. You have spoken so much about your life journey, everything, but anything you want to say about, uh, you have uh, a turning point in your life or uh, something which is not one. It comes many a times in your life, but is there one turning point which never let you go back to that lane again? So is there a turning point? In your yeah, life? there are many, but I think when I was 28 year old, I had a fight with few people in Delhi and it was a good cause somebody did wrong and I went and I broke somebody's nose apparently that guy a typical Delhi fight new 10 20 people they came they broke they hit me harder and uh, during that time I realized in life the power of tolerance and I realized that there are more ways to fight. Not and sometimes, kidding. yes, and sometimes not fighting is the best fight. So I think that was one of the big turning points of my life. And that's very tough. Like something very uh, difficult to get into your system and you know, your priorities. Uh, 
The last is coming to the final closure is your favorites. I think everybody has asked you and a lot of it is out there for us to know. So I'll pick on something, your favorite, um, maybe your favorite role to begin. So you've performed in different characters. Which one could have been your favorite pick till now in any aspect? My favorite character of mine? I think Kabir, Kabir and me are pretty twisted and sane. <laughs> Any, anything that you're looking forward to play in your life, you wish you get that role, an aspiring one? No, I don't wish to get a role. I wish that the role I get, I become. Okay. So you believe whatever you get, you might just give your best to that, right? No, become and, that, not best, to become that. The, the great thing of artistry or acting is to become somebody other than you. So I, for me, that's, I just want to keep reliving that experience. And uh, Amit, as we close here, one thing is we have seen your journey go, as I said in the beginning, from small screen, large screen, OTT, you're almost ruling on the OTT now. Um, <laughs> okay, take it as a compliment. We, we thank you, but we don't need rulers in India anymore. You know, you know let's like stop using these words of ruling and all that. I'm fortunate. I'm saying, I know what you mean. I know. I know yes, I get that. that what you're saying also like because see, we have so, been so used to using that now. Yes. Because, no, uh, you will never hear Jay Leno talk like that. You'll never see anyone in Hollywood say, oh, Brad Pitt is ruling or Kevin Spacey oh. is ruling Netflix. No. It's just that we have to stop this. We, are, we have to stop God. We have to stop calling us rulers and, and uh, you know, whatever, whatever we call. I, I, this is my humble request. I feel uh, and I know you said it out of love. It's just that we are spoiled. No, we but I get it know. because that's also become a part of our way. If we don't say it, sometimes we are seeing people get offended. So that's why I was very cautious in talking to you earlier because I was like, I don't, don't know whether... You're this lovely. You're lovely. You're amazing. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to be cautious. I have faith in you. You're a fine young woman. And uh, uh, I've really enjoyed talking to you. I've even heard, uh, not to test you or something, but I did see a couple of your other interviews and I messaged you. You're just doing so good. And you guys are the force. We, will, we are looking up to you. You are the force, you are the youth. You will drive this country. You will improve us. You'll have to teach us. You have to reprimand us when we are going wrong. Don't, let's not take, make things personal. We are mental health. So we have to take corrective measures, corrective course. Pe individually, jana padega. Chai wo actor, ho, chai aap ho, chai desh ho. And uh, I know we are getting better, but we need to get more better. We need to get more compassionate. We need to start using the right words. We need to start respecting art and people and uh, women. And there are a lot of things we need to correct. Uh, I'm just more conscious about it. That's it. I, so I didn't mean to uh, correct you or something because I know what you meant. No, you know? Okay. But I, it's just that when somebody calls me a star or somebody calls me, I'm ruling the OTT, I'm going to say something else. Don't tell me anyone else. That's like what Parish, <laughs> that's so sweet what, what Parish Rawal tweeted, you know, the day you stop calling our actors the hero and call them an artist, you will be on the right track. So get on to that. The heroes are on the border. You know, this comes to the uh, conclusion that OTT certainly now has given a level playing field to all the actors, I believe. Hasn't it? Somewhere? I think it's given equality. Yes, somewhere. Do, it has given see. some sense of equality and that again India mein ye one hai, ye two hai, ye three hai, ye hero hai, ye villain hai, ye third lead hai, ye, uh, ye hai nahi, ye, ye to hai nahi. Iska, isko to matlab, film city mein aane nahi denge and wo sab thoda abhi kam ho gaya hai, band ho gaya hai. Yes. And, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I think media is answerable. They are changing, they are getting better. They are, see I'll tell you what happens is, there were a few work I did in which I was the lead. But in the marketing, they, they, there was also a very big magazine which has changed their heart now. You know, it's not an Indian magazine. And they wrote one article about something that I had done. In one article, they didn't even mention me as if I'm not. In the second article, they mentioned that I'm the villain. And I don't mind playing a villain. Because I'll win you with when I play a villain also because I'm not playing a villain, I'm playing a part. Right. And I will be nice to it. An Indian audience is so smart. If I do a part nice, they will accept me. They'll say, ah, bro, chak, yes, nahi. But just see how crooked they are. They said that villain is me. Pahle mein naam likhna hai bhul mein likh diya, villain. Hai. And then when a uh, few things did well and you know things changed, things have been really nice for the last six months or whatever. They called me, we want to like do a feature on you. I said, who do you want to do a feature on? First article, you forgot my name. Second article, you wrote, I'm a villain. Uh, first of all, there's no villain in that. 
and actually if you ask me i'm not a villain i am the protagonist yes that's the right word so I why like why did you write villain because you want to do pull me down and break someone first so ye india mein karte hain wo ko to role but ye sab karte kyu karte mujhe nahi pata yaar isse kya kisi ne kar liya kya mil gaya mujhe nahi pata my only thing is for the next 10 years 20 years this is a thought i want to leave you with this is a thought i live with is this what we want to do is this what we want to leave back these kids that are growing up five year old 10 year olds 20 year olds when we will ask them 20 years back and they will not take our names our movies they'll be watching lebanese films and persian films and iranian films and oh. korean films you know and they will not take our name they will not take our name they will not talk about us because they are fed up of our us bickering and fighting and being so shallow and so selfish and uh, and this is for all of us this is for me this is for you how we take this how we introspect and how we become one is up to us thank you so much amit that was really Uh, I think this this whole session was much more of introspecting, and uh, it was a good discussion. I'm so happy we did this. Thank you again, and uh, yeah, just keep the march on, keep marching.